Okay, let's get on with um, the start of turn two, which the first thing we do, as you can see here, we draw one blue event card during the activity phase. We'll skip to the next one. I've got. To, I've just moved that up slightly so you can see that. I'm going to slip it down a little bit. I can't quite get everything in. Once I get these units here moved, it's not so important to have those down at the bottom, so it'll be fine. We'll get that done this turn. So let's start with the blue event card. Should go a lot quicker this turn. I'll just get on with it as I'm rolling it. I'll get on with it. We'll hopefully have a bayonet charge this time. So I'll take a bit of time to explain that. Blue event card. Ditch ground obstacle. Place a ditch ground obstacle marker in the space immediately in front of any Confederate unit in the yellow zone, which is the middle zone. The marker space cannot already be an obstacle space, nor contain another obstacle marker. This space is now an obstacle. So we'll need a ditch ground obstacle. Um, there we are, ditch obstacle. Um, and we're a little bit... So we, they're both in front of the obstacle, so that one can't be. That one's in quite a good position, so... Do we go for that one? But he's got eight. I'm, I'm going to put it in front of that guy, in front of Garnet's Brigade. So what shall we start with? I think... I'm going to start with trying to get a bayonet charge on this guy here. The reason for that, last last game I, I held back on one of those and used one of the others, hoping for something uh, something good to happen in one of the, the card draws. And it was actually the opposite. I ended up losing value on, on the guy I had in place. So, um, so I'm going to try him first. It's a bit of potluck, obviously, because the grey the gray side of the cards are positive, the blue are negative, so it's just potluck. So, first of all, that is an obstacle. So, we need to get over the obstacle mark. So, we need a come on, boys, or an on to Washington. Double five is just what we need. Determined advance. Unit moves two spaces, or unit moves one space and may enter the obstacle. Now here we are, it's like a conform battle line, but we don't want that. So I'm just going to move that up there to show that, that we're having the bayonet charge. Because the first thing we do is the fire chits. So we turn those over. A miss. And a miss. So they were pretty useless. Put them back in there. Now we work out how many of each of these. So we've got the, let's put them like this, blue and the grey. So. so, Confederate units first. Well, first of all, sorry, each side gets number of initial combat dice equal to half of the unit's current strength value. Well, we're pretty good here, because we're on eight. So we've already got four. You can never have more than the six dice that you're given. The unions for so they only have two. What else the Confederate units? Plus one dice if using a rebel a rebel yell marker. What I've actually done <clears throat> I've missed a phase. Assign each division general marker still in play to one of its eligible units. Um I'm gonna penalise myself here and say I can't I meant to put it in there, but I'm not going to because it looks like I'm backtracking. So we've got Pettigrew is down at the bottom, um, but I'm going to move him into one of his other brigades, which is Brockenburs, because he may be in a position to attack this turn. Um, I've got Trimble down with Lane, so he either goes there or moves up to Lawrence's brigade. I'm going to send him up to Lawrence's Brigade to see if we can help him get over the obstacle or possibly bayonet charge. And the final one is Pickett, which is all on the right flank, and I'm going to leave him there. So yeah, as I say, Pettigrew's Brigade, I would have put him here, but I'm not going to do that because it's, it's a little bit of cheating because I know I've got the bayonet charge in place now, and that's what I wanted to use him for, so I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, so, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> 
Plus one if you've got a Rebel Yell marker, not got one of those. Plus two dice for using a Heroic Action marker, I haven't got one of those in play. Plus one die for using an Attached Division General marker, that's what I would have had. And I could have used the Long Street ones, but I'm not going to because we're in a good position with the dice here, although they are going to get some extra ones, as you'll see. Minus one dice if you're shaken. Well, we're not shaken. We just I haven't actually moved that. I'm washing it a bit at the minute, so we're still there. Now, the union units. Plus one die per adjacent union position space with at least one strength value of union units in the space. So there and there. Unless they are unsteady or suppressed, which they're not. We, we did have some looks. So they get two more dice. Plus one dice if die if unit is defending the unit position with a stone wall against. Well, we are, I think, on that one. You see the stone wall? So they get another one. So I'm just wondering whether to use Long Street and get an extra dice. Um, no, let's just go for it. So what we do, put these dice away. We hold them all. All at once. One, two, and three is a miss, so there's no effect. So, looking pretty good though. Let's um, move away. Any that's got one, two, or three. One, two, three, so. Done now. This is good. So, you see where we are. So, four is just a morale loss. Five is a partial hit plus a morale loss. Well, a partial hit is if you've got two fives, the, the opponent takes one hit. We haven't, we've only got one. A six is one hit plus a morale loss. So, we've got a hit. So, that goes down to three. Now, the winner, I'm just looking to read it out, um, da, da, da. to determine which unit wins the combat, count up all the morale loss results, so it's basically the number of dice you've got, because each one is one morale loss, um, by each side, and the side that inflicted the most morale loss results wins the combat. We've got two dice, they've got one, we've won. Um, if it's equal, the attacking unit must retreat. So, the union unit must retreat, so you place it back in the unit union rear area, which is, we've spoken about is the little box there. And capturing union position, if the union unit defending the unit position space retreats out of it, which it has, and the victorious confederate unit has at least one strength value remaining, we've got eight, then the Confederates have captured that position. Take any one unit strength value. So we've captured our first one. And it's one of the more difficult ones because of the stone wall. Then bring in, so, then bring the foot, victorious Confederate unit's rally point mark up to the space just outside the union position. That's what we already there. Now the Confederate unit doesn't go into that position. It sits here. And that is the end of your turn. There's nothing more you can do anyway. Um, what I think I'll do is put that rally one up there. And it is done. It will turn over at the end of the next turn. It's but there's nothing for it to do. Now, there are cards that allow Union counterattacks. So these may come into play. I've not, ha I've not actually had a counterattack yet. So uh, we'll see if we see one. So that's that turn done. Good start. While we're on a roll... Let's perhaps try to see if Brockenburg's brigade can do something similar because we've got three fire chips there as well to have a go at. So let's get back to building that. A two and a six. <laughs> Ran some good rolls early on. Let's speak to a two and a six. It's come on, boys. Moon, unit moves one space and can enter an obstacle. So we've entered the Emmitsburg Road. We don't draw a direct card because we've entered an obstacle. 
a four and a two. Advance. A five and a one. Heavy fire. Now I'm going to use Pettigrew to re-roll this red dice. And five and a four. So it's an advance. So let's have a go. We need to get over an obstacle. Three and a two. Nothing. A five and a six. Come on, boys. So we've got another one. May enter the obstacle. So we're in again. The general's been used, so we're not going to use that. So as you've just... The awkward thing here is if we miss... We go back here. We don't go back to that. It's certainly not if we miss, if we lose this combat. So hopefully we don't lose. So first thing is the fire chits. And we've got three of those. One hit. Miss. And one hit. That's good. Because just one hit would have taken down to three. And half the value is always rounded up. So we get this down to a two. And this only gets one dice. Although, as you've already seen, there's other ones... That will affect that. You can see that, can you? Let me just move that up a little bit to make sure. So let's have a look at dice again. Half each unit's value. Well, we've got four Confederate dice. Come. Half that unit. One dice. This could be in our, quite good in our favour because with ours, we've got nothing else. Um, just double check. We're not using any markers. We have yeah, heroic action. Got, we're not using the attached division general because it's already been used to get there. It's also plus one per adjacent captured union position. Well, we haven't got any of those. Minus one die shaken, which we're not. Union units plus one die per adjacent union position. Now, because it's on the end, it only gets one extra, which is good. But also it gets plus one because, again, we've got the wall. Have we got the wall? No, the wall finishes. I thought it was all the way along, but it's not the wall, it's just these. So that's a bit... I was expecting to give it another dice there. Double check, yeah, that's finished. So we're rolling four dice to there too. A lucky roll with dice. A lucky roll. <laughs> Let's see if this holds. Tempting fate here. Yes, I am tempting for it because let's remove the one to threes. And our luck has not held, so we've got a five, which is a partial hit. And they've got a hit, so they knock that back to seven, but not just that. Because we're equal with morale loss, we lose. Okay, now we don't go right back actually. The Confederate unit must retreat, move it back one space to just outside the Union position. So we only go back to there, but the rally popping marker doesn't move, so that stays where it is. So we're there. So that's that. So not a bad start. We've taken one. We're still in a good position with this because they've only got two. If I get a chance to put a chit down, I may put it there to try and. Because if you can wipe them out completely, you just go straight into the position. So, what should we do next? Let's try this guy. So, we're starting with the ones that are in a position to actually attack. A double one. We don't want that. A route. Yeah. yeah, we're changing this one definitely. So I'm using it because a route when unit takes hits equal to half the distance to rally point. Well, we're on the rally point, so that's but unit and rally point move back to the start space. So we go right back here, not doing that. And then you draw one blue card. So I'm going to re roll one dice, and it doesn't matter which one really. So I'll leave the red one. So we're using picket, we don't want another one, and a six. And that's probably as good as we could get because that's against the wind. So it's there against the wind. 
which means we do take one hit, but we can also move one space forward. We do um, and draw one blue and one grey card. So we take one hit, so it goes down to a seven. Oh, do, 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 do. do we take a hit? Because we're on a minus one. I think we do, because we're moving forwards. I'm, I'm saying we do. I think the, the, the minus one hit is for volley fight. Shall I just, I think I'll just check that. Just bear with me a second. Okay, well, I can't find it, but if it's in the angle, it says if it's for any reason, including movement. So if that's plus one, that's got to be minus one for any reason. So I'm keeping that at eight. I think that's fair enough. So we now need a blue and a grey card. With the blue one first. Stragglers. All Confederate units in a division whose general marker is either killed or wounded, each lose one SV. We've got no generals killed or wounded yet. And no effect. Unit finds a fold in the ground. Place a ground cover marker in the same space as any Confederate unit. Reduce the number of hits scored against it by a minus one hit to any source, including movement dice. Remove the marker when the unit leaves that space. So, ground cover marker. What I think I'll do, I'm not going to put it there because I'm going to try and move him forward. So he's going to be, but this guy, I'm going to try and avoid any hits. I want to keep that strength up as much as we can. So, and all these others are going to be moving this turn. So, um, right, so let's carry on. Ah, one and a three. Heavy fire. The unit takes hits equal to half the distance. So it's going to take one hit and it will take it this time. Flip the brigade marker to its shaken side. And draw one blue card. So that goes to the shaken. We are down to seven now. And we draw a blue card. Artillery barrage versus area two. Well, I'm not going to read the rest of that because we've got nothing in area two. So. And I think I may leave that there because we're shaken. So we'll try and go. Let's push it. Let's go one more forward. It's a bottle. Six and a two. Come on, boys. And we'll be me ward if I move one space forward and we draw a grey card. Place a smoke cover marker in the same space as any Confederate unit. Reduce the number of hits scored against it by minus one hit due to it. Union volley fire and artillery canister fire events only. All of the hits replied on. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop there, take the smoke cover, and put it. In with that one because as I think we've seen when you're on when you're in the red you're more likely to take hits which makes sense you know you're up further up the hill so I think we'll stop there with that one my next move is gonna be this guy We've got to get over an obstacle. Five and a three. No, just an advance. Yes, a three and a six. We're having some good luck with these. Come on, boys. So we move forward one. Oops, sorry, I've not done that. Uh, we don't. We don't draw a grey card because we've gone over an obstacle with the come on, boys. Four and a six. Another come on, boys. And this time we do draw a grey card. If the current active unit is shaken, it's not. Flip the marker back over to advancing brigade. If not shaken, immediately add one SV to the active unit. So we're on seven. Let's go back up to eight. And we've still not used the general yet. So famous last words, that, isn't it? No, it's not. And on to Washington card. Unit moves two clear spaces or one obstacle space. Well... We can only move one because two would be the obstacle space. But you also move the unit's rally point up to its current space and you draw one grey card. There is a battle line option, but we're not in position. 
Oops, sorry. Wrong card. Increase one Confederate unit by plus one. Strength value. Plus two if in Pickett's division. And plus one strength value if the attached general is used. Who is this Pickett? That's not Pickett's division. That's Trimble's, isn't it? So Pickett's divisions are these three. So we add... So we could just do one, or we could do two. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do we do that one? We could do that one by one, or it won't make any difference because it's a half. So that one by, I think we can get this up to nine. Yeah, because it's Pickett's, it's one of Pickett's divisions. Yeah, we're going to get him up to nine. I'd like to strengthen these because these are quite weak, but we've got no guarantees they're going to make it up there. So oh, that would make it easier, wouldn't it? No, stick with that. So there we go. So now we've still got Trimble not used and we've got an obstacle to get another bayonet charge. And we've got a, I thought we were in there when I saw the six. A one and a six. So it's against the wind. Unit takes one hit, moves one space, but not an obstacle. Our unit takes two hits and may enter an obstacle and draw one blue. Oh. Um, do I use the general which costs me a dice? But if I take two hits, it's going to cost me a dice as well, and that permanent. So I'm going to use the general to re roll that dice and do not get another one. So we've got the six on the red and a three. So it's come on, boys. So we're in. So we're up there. Ooh. But the general, I was just, sorry, I was thinking, why is the rally up there? But it's, it's because we have the onto Washington card. Um, so, yeah, sorry, that threw me a little bit there. So we're on eight. Oh, bah, bah, bah. Um, we're on eight to four, so let's just. There's no fire chits. So we have got eight to four. They are four, so they're half for a two. We also get. We can't use the general. But we've got, not shaken, so we're all right with that. Plus one die per captured union position with at least one strength value of confederates. Well, we've got one next to us, so we get an extra one there. But they get plus one per adjacent union position with at least one strength value of union units in the space. So they get one as well. So we've got five, they've got three. Let's see if we have more luck than the last turn. Looks like we have so they go. Let's just take out the ones that matter. Six, two sixes, and what's that one? Another six. So these these are misses. It's as good as you you no doubt know by now. So we take one hit, so we're down to a seven. They take three hits, so they're down to a one. Plus morale, three losses. One, three dice, one dice. So that goes back into that position. And we've captured that. And the rally, that's done. There we go. So that's another good one. That's two taken already. We're in a position with that, we're not far off with that. This is going really well. I'm going to use this one at the bottom use these two to get them out of the way because I'm having to drop it down so we're going to use Davis's brigade try and get him up a little bit six and a two come on boys one space great card you made it immediately form a battle line with any unit in the center 
and move the entire battle line space. We can't because there's they've captured it. That's the only other one in the centre. So there's no, we've got nothing could form a battle line here because they've got to be adjacent. Four and a five advance. A one and a six is against the wind. So we take one hit and move one space. So we're down to an eight. And we do a one blue and one gray card. So blue, blue one first. Volley fire versus the right flank. Each union unit in the right flank wing column inflicts a number of hits on the confederate unit in their brigade column equal to half of the union unit's strength value. So let me modify it as follow. Full effect for red, minus one, minus two. So let's start, we'll go from the outside. So four, half the strength value is two, but we're in the green column where it's minus two hits, so no effect. This one, three, half that is one and a half, rounded up to two. So we'll be taking two hits, it's in the red column, so it's full effect. Smoke cover is minus one, so we only take one hit. Let's move this down to eight. And then finally, this guy here, he's going to take one hit, I think, yeah. Half the value, two. There's no cover, that's a ditch obstacle to try and get over. Um, a yellow is minus one hit, so we, we take one hit there, which brings him down to four. And then we've got a grey card. Attach a heroic action mark to any confederate unit. It can be used to either re-roll the route result or add two combat dice to a bayonet. Combat. So, ideally... Got those two. He's gonna have a lot of extra dice there. He is as well, actually. Um, that two combat dice is a massive multiplier. I'm gonna put him here, and then what I will try and do is not use the general on this one next turn because we're gonna have four if we stay as we are we'll have four dice plus two for using the heroic action we'll have six dice which is the maximum assuming we get there all right so but that's what we're gonna do so on with sorry davis sorry and i'll put the advance in. four and a five and advance i want to try and get to round here and then use the rally marker Three and a four, advance. Because the further we get, if we do get a heavy fire, the more. <laughs> oh no, against the wind, so. Oh, we go. So one hit removes one space. One blue and one grey card. And then I think I'm going to call it a day with that one. Blue one. Artillery barrage, area four, which is where we are. Each confederate unit in the designated area suffers a number of hits equal to the total number of confederate units in that area. There's one confederate unit in the area, so it takes one hit down to a seven. Okay, open fire. Open one confederate unit with a strength value of four or more, place the number of fire markers based on the zone it's in. Two, plus one if a general is used. Um, I think I've used all my generals anyway. I've taken those two. I'm thinking he's looking quite good. He's not looking bad either. I'm wondering about risking it and trying. Come on here. He hasn't used, been used yet either. Yeah, I'm going to go for a risk because, as I've said, the more we can get in a row, the better. So let's try. So he's got strength value four, so we qualify. Oh, he's only in the yellow zone, so he'd only get one hit. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to put two hit markers on one. On this one here, sorry. So we're going to do 
of two fire markers. They'll not be resolved until next term, as you've seen. But we'll do that. Right, so that, I'm calling that a day. So I'm worried about getting a heavy fire one, two, three, four. Lose three, but three strength points. So that's where we are with that guy. Um, let's move this a little bit now. I'm going to try Fry next, see if we can get him over the uh, Emmitsburg Road. Three and a four. Adva no, we can't. We need a determined advance. Come on, boys. Four and a five. Advance. No good. A one and a two, heavy fire. The unit's not shaken. Well, we're not moved, so we're not taking any hits. But that goes to its shaken side, and we draw a blue card. Union reinforcements sent to the right flank. Remove one fire marker from each of the three Union positions in the right flank wing column, which there aren't any. If there are no fire markers in the Union position, then instead, plus one SV to the position. So... Five, five, and four. So they've all got an extra strength value there. Damn. Do we try it again? Let's go again with this guy. We haven't moved yet. Ugh, heavy fire. Unit's already shaken. Move unit back to rally point market. We're already there. So that's the end of the turn. But we do draw another blue card. Volley fire versus the right flank. This is the same as we had a little bit ago, so let's do it again. Um, do it from the right. Minus two. Oh, they've got up to three now, so it does take a hit. So because of those strength, they've just had added. We are taking some fire here. This guy, it's full effect, which is two. That sounds so it's one, so he goes down to seven. Too many counters on that. And this guy, he's rounded up to three, minus one, so he loses two. So this guy's in trouble at the moment. A lot of trouble. Don't fancy his chances of being there, so he's done. Um. Right, he's still at full strength, this lane. So let's let's see what we can do. His rally point mark, you can just see it down there. It's... Five and a three. Advance. He's not shaking, is he? Just that. Two and a two, light fire. Takes one hit. That's it. I did promise to move quicker this turn, but I haven't done so. Uh, e5, that was going to be. Oh, sorry, five and a two. Advance. We've got some cover there as well. Do we stop? Yeah, I'm going to stop. I'm going to play chicken. Because he's got that minus one. Might as well make use of it for a little bit. Still got, we're only on turn two, so. Really matter with these. Let's um, let's Kemp has got. So we're an obstacle here, as you've you've seen. So two and a three advance. No, can't do. Three and a six. That's what we want to come on, boys. We can enter the obstacle, which knocks that obstacle off the board. Five and a two, advance. Three and a five, advance. I don't know whether to just leave it there and get the rally point up to just below the obstacle. Got three turns left, it's not in a great shape. Might not be the right thing to do, but yeah, bottle it a bit. And this guy, he's got to get an obstacle here and then an obstacle there. <laughs> and the one and a six. Oh, it's. Against the wind, so one hit. I moved one space, but not an obstacle. Or unit takes two hits and move one space. I may enter obstacle. What? 
if I take two hits, I'm gone. So I'm taking one hit and not moving, which I'm assuming is the right thing. And then a blue and a grey card. Blue. Immediately draw two more blue event cards. Resolve them in order. Artillery canister fire versus left flank. Inflicts a number of hits on each confederate unit in the red zone of the left flank wing column. We've got one in there. The number of hits is dependent on the distance the unit is from the union position. We're one space away. We take three hits on this guy here. But we've got a ground cover. So we only take two. It's still not great because we want to try and... We haven't taken this space yet. So that's one. Now we take another one. Artillery Barrage versus Area 2. Stop it there because there's nothing in two. And then we do the grey one. All right, shuffle. Increase one Confederate unit by plus two, plus three if your unit is stacked with the rally marker, and plus one if it's right. So, well, that one that's just gone down is with the, he's not with his rally marker. Damn. But we need him up to, so I need him up to seven. Well, I could put him up by three. Some of the others, I could put him up as well. Do I do that? He's got two S strength uh, fire markers. What I'm going to do... Uh, see, I don't think this guy's going to make it whatever. But he's with his, so I could put him up to a seven. I'm going to put him up to a seven and see how we go. That's a risk, because he's not in a... The best position, but well, he's in a good position. It's just whether we can defeat. Hopefully, those fire markers have got some hits, which would be good. Right. So, this guy, I'm just going to go forward again. And then if he gets wiped out, he gets wiped out. With a two and a five advance, no good. Two and a five again. Four and a four. Determined advance, so we're here. The unit moves one space and may enter an obstacle. So we're over that one. That one's removed. Now we go for another obstacle, and it's a one and a four. I'll tell you what's happening here. And I'm not redrawing, I could use the one of the long street markers that are down here, but I'm not, because one strength value, how long is it? Four and a one, heavy fire, the unit takes hits equal to half the distance to the rally point, which is one. Flip it, well, it's gone, that's what we do. Well, that's what I do, turn it over, remove the rally point, because it's gone. And that's it, those guys are done. That's our first brigade down. But we've still got a blue card to draw because of what we have there. Each Confederate unit in the designated area suffers a number of hits equal to the total number of Confederate units in that area. Okay, six. Well, that one's dead, so we've only got one in the area now, they've gone. He goes down to a six, can I? And that, I believe, is turn two done. 40 minutes, do I? Stop, I was hoping to get two turns in. But I'll just waffle on, don't I? Right, I'll uh, I'll stop it at that point and come back to it. Um, so, well, no, I won't stop at that point, because we're going to do the housekeeping, aren't we? We haven't got any generals, so we can't draw a grey event card. All the general markers turn over. Remove temporary effect fire chip card, which is suppressed and unsteady. We haven't got any of them. Um, and flip the rally markers over. 
So all the rally markers, turn back, ready for a go, next turn. So my plan now, these don't really matter, because um, these are done, these guys here. Because they've already captured those positions. He's not got one. So my plan is, and I know I said this last time, I can't the term out, there'll be two blue event cards to draw next time. The plan next time is to get, get through two turns. And then the final part of the video will be the fifth turn and the scoring. So thank you for tuning in. I may go straight on to the next video and do two turns while I'm here. But... I will be back shortly.